Hello everyone, this is Gisela and this is the acrylic painting course for beginners. The first lesson is the color wheel. You may have learned at school that you only need three primary colors, red, yellow and blue. But this is not strictly true. The best palette has two colors of each primary, warm primary colors and cool primary colors. Why is it important? Because color temperature helps us create depth. The warm colors seem to advance in space, while cool colors seem to recede. For this reason, using warm colors in the foreground of a painting and cool colors in the background can help create the illusion of three dimension and distance. Look at Van Gogh's sunflowers. He used cool yellow for the background and warm yellow for the foreground. Warm colors are the colors that have red in them. To create our warm color wheel, we are going to use cadmium yellow, cadmium red and ultramarine blue. Cool colors are the colors that have blue in them. For our cool color wheel, we are going to use lemon yellow, alizarin crimson and phyllo blue. We are also going to create a CMYK color wheel, which is the pigments used in commercial printing. They are yellow, magenta and cyan. Let's start by drawing the three circles for the three color wheels that we will make. Now divide the wheels into four sections and then each section into three. I really recommend writing down the names of the primary colors you are using on each wheel so you don't forget or get confused. Now write the names of the colors on the wheels. Start with yellow, then leave three sections blank and in the fourth write blue. Leave another three sections blank and in the eighth section write red. Now the secondary colors between yellow and blue write green. In the center between blue and red, write violet. And in the center between the red and the yellow, write orange. The CMYK wheel is going to be a little different. The primaries are going to be yellow, magenta and cyan. And the secondary colors will be green, blue and red. And you may be thinking, wait a minute, red and blue secondary colors? And yes, you're gonna see it in a few minutes. Let's start with the first wheel. Pour some cadmium yellow, cadmium red and ultramarine blue into the palette. I like to start with the yellow. For the next color, greenish yellow, mix about 75% yellow with 25% blue. For the green, mix about 50% yellow and 50% blue. As you can see, this is a brownish green. It's less vibrant because ultramarine blue is warm. It means it has a red undertone.
For the bluish green, mix about 25% yellow and 75% blue. Let's start again with another sequence. First the primary color, in this case, is blue. And repeat the same amount of colors as in the last sequence. 75-25, 50-50 and 25-75. As it happened with the green, this is a brownish violet. This is due to the red undertones of the ultramarine blue. In the next color wheel, we are going to use a cool blue and there you will notice the difference. Anyway, these brownish colors are important too and we'll use them in our paintings. <laughs> And now we start again with the last primary color on our wheel, the red. I forgot to paint the primary color swatches, so I paint them now. Well, now we are going to start with the cool color wheel and you will notice the difference with the warm colors. The cool colors we'll be using are alizarin, crimson red, lemon yellow and thilo blue.
Je cherche un homme, un homme, un homme, un Pierre au Paul, un Jacques au Tom. Notice the difference now, especially between the green and violet tones. In the cool color wheel, these colors are more vibrant. Lastly, we are going to create our CMY color wheel where, unlike the previous wheels, the primary colors are cyan, magenta, and yellow. The colors we are going to use are for cyan, a bright blue, which is very similar to cyan. For magenta, a green akidon magenta, and for yellow, the azo yellow. As I told you before, by mixing cyan and magenta, you're gonna get a blue color, which is completely different to the other two wheels. Here, the secondary color is blue instead of being a primary. And here again, by mixing magenta and yellow, we are getting a secondary color, which is red, instead of being a primary. Well, finally, the three wheels, warm, cold, and CMY, are ready and having them in your painting area will help you as a reference when you need some of these colors. Something very important to know is that each color on these wheels has an opposite on the wheel. These are called complementary colors. When these colors are placed side by side, they intensify their hue achieving greater dynamics, movement and drama in, in your paintings. On the other hand, when these colors are mixed, we can obtain gray and air tones. In the next classes, we will learn more about complementary colors. I hope you liked the video, thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel if you want to receive a notification for the next lesson. Bye!